there is a way out of the rage, tears, and frustration of childlessness. Adoption. Not an admission of defeat, but an affirmation of the innocent love that children have in so much abundance, especially abandoned children. And the procedures to adopt are not so complicated if you go the way of the Enrique's family. All adoptions have to go through a single government body, the Adoption Board, which can be a lengthy process, but one couple got round that. Here's how this couple did it. We did not go to the Adoption Board and put our name on a list because to adopt, you would normally have to go into the Adoption Board, be interviewed there. They would ask you to present them with certain documents. They would do a medical on yourself and your spouse. Um, they would do a family background. They would take pictures of you all to get colouring and stuff like that. We did not go that way. Um, somebody who knew us and knew that we had wanted to adopt a child had come into contact with this young girl who had had a baby that she just could not afford and she was ready to abandon. And they contacted me, okay? From there, I visited with the young girl. I saw the baby, my husband saw the baby, and we decided, you know, it, it didn't matter to us whether it was a boy or girl or whatever. Here's a baby that we could lo look after. We went to the adoption board from there. The rest was plain sailing, and within a year, Cindy was theirs. The adoption board interviewed us. They also interviewed the mother, took all the, the necessary information from the mother. And from there, it was just a matter of going on a six-month probation. We didn't have to wait now for them to place a child in our home. Do you love your mommy and daddy? Yes. Why? They love me. And when you love them, what do you do for them, to show them you love them? Um, play with them and make them happy. The couple is still in the process of adopting Antonio, but there's no doubt that this is a family. Somebody better not come and try and take them, <laughs> for sure. There's no if hands or buts about it. I mean, I love them uncountable amount, you know, it's just unbelievable. And whenever they get hurt or cut or anything like that, I mean, I'm nervous just like everybody else. She's mine. In fact, right now she is five years old and we go out and people say, she looks exactly like you, she talks like me, she walks like me. Somebody thinks she does. It's me, right? And that's nobody else's child but my child. She's mine. Who do you love best in the whole world? Mommy and Daddy. And what about your little brother? Yes. Do you like to fight with him? No. And if he falls down or somebody pushes him, what do you do then? Do it him. Pick him up. Is there anywhere else in the world that you would rather be, rather than your mommy and daddy? Mm -mm. Not running away from them. Mm -mm. And when they grow old, what will you do? Be bigger and drive the car. Can you take care of them? Yes, sir. The children are told honestly about their situation. Sometimes mommy and daddies can't have huh? babies in their tummies. And they go and they pick the prettiest little girls and the nice little boys and bring them to live with them. And that means adoption, you remember that? And that's how come mommy adopted you, because she loves you very, very, very much. Remember that? Yeah. These parents talk to their children about racial differences and about how little they matter to them as a family. I told him, okay, he's brown and I'm cream, and I asked him to tell me if he got a cut, what color was his cut, what color was the blood, and he told me his blood was red. So I asked him if he ever saw me with a cut, and he told me, yes, what color was my, my cut, the blood. He said, my blood was also red. Don't go adopting a child if you're not willing to give up your free time. Once you've gone past that stage, I mean, right away you begin to love these children because they are looking for love and the slightest little love you give them, they're going to give you back a hundred times more in return. So getting to love the children and things like that will be no problem. They are going to love you non-stop. Every couple, whether you can have children of your own or not, should experience parenthood. And there are a lot of children out there who need love. And you have the love to give it, 
open your home to abandoned child and give that love. How much do you love them? A million, zillion, trillion? A million thousand on that. A hundred million so, so thousand. <laughs> Just big. Now we've seen what adoption can do. It's created at least one family with ties as strong as blood or stronger because they work at it. Ira Marthur, TV6 News, with a special report.